get this part. information. The local law is basically changing the definition of a camping unit to include motorhome, tent trailer, tent trailer, pickup camper, travel trailer, bus, motorhome, or any temporary facility used for sleeping, living, or housing. The old definition, we are replacing, that's the replacement definition. The old definition had a length limitation in it of 30 feet or less, actually up to 30 feet. And it was written in the early 70s, and since that time, uh, trailers have gotten significantly larger. Um, and as a result of another issue, we were looking at the codes and found that if we didn't change this, there's a good number of people in the town that would be, quote, in violation of the current code. And it seemed like a simple fix to remove the length limitation and the and trailers because there's an awful lot of them these days. Uh, Toby Hines, motorhomes, fifth wheels that are 35, 40 feet long. So so this is to make sure that we don't have everybody in the town as a criminal when you buy a, a nice trailer and go enjoy yourself. There's not anything in this law to tell anyone that they can have a trailer on their property. That's uh, with some misinformation that was spread around on the internet. Uh, we're simply changing the definition so that basically everybody can have a trailer, whatever they like. So there's, there won't be a, a limitation within this definition, obviously. We're not talking about uh, manufactured housing or anything along those lines. This is strictly within the recreational vehicle. So this is this is basically a definitional change. It's not even really a change in code. Um, we've had very very little issue with the code itself. It's worked well for many many years. So we did not change that at this time. So with that said, public hearing. Here's how it works. Uh, generally, if you want to speak, we have you fill out a sheet. Come up. We'll be pretty low key about it here because of the spacing issues. Uh, just state your name and address for the record. Try to keep your comments or questions to three minutes or less. Um, and we'll go from there and try to get everybody a chance to, to speak their mind if they have something they want to put into the record or, or say about the change. So the, first, the only person I have that's filled out a sheet is uh, Brian and Cheryl Camp. That's you guys, okay? Yeah, stand up. Oh. Take, you know, just obviously you're, you're, you're probably Cheryl, I would imagine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Camp, 19 Green Ridge Crossing Cameron. Here, uh, we have an RV, and we use it. It's licensed vehicle. 
the motor vehicle that we use as a third vehicle. We want to know, is this going to be at all involved in all this? You're saying RV, but yet we use it as our third vehicle. Yeah, no, no, let's say it's nothing to do. It, it, as I said, within the old definition, there was a length restriction. Somebody thought at the time that it was a good idea to say nothing over 30 feet. We're taking that out because today there's an awful lot of them that are 30 feet and larger. Ours isn't here. Then you're lucky you would have been fine either way. Not a problem. So it came from the week one, Jordan. Who's someone else for standing? Does anyone else wish to address the board? Any other comments? Yes. Just a question. So, Doug Ravay, what is the definition of temporary? Definition. So, it's in the, what you said, is it temporary use of the trailer? Is it specified someplace else in the code, or what is temporary? Yeah. No, no, it doesn't say temporary anyway. It does. Any temporary facility use for safety. I believe the code points it out as less than 14 days. If you're gonna, if you're going to use it for more than 14 days, you have to get that uh, six-month temporary license from the uh, building department. Anybody else? What does that mean, temporary? The license from the building department, what does that mean? It, it's a permit so that we can monitor. If people are living in it? Well, if they are actually using it temporarily. Oh. Within the definition. You mean if we're just keeping it there because we go places in it, that doesn't apply? Right. Well, right. We're talking about if you own it and you're living there and you're, it's on your premises, your property, that's, that's fine. A license trailer, but you're not living in it, you're not no. living in the trailer. No, the, the temporary, I believe he was talking about, is someone living in the trailer for a period of time. We don't allow that. You can have someone okay. bring a trailer to your property and be there for less than two weeks because maybe someone's coming from out of town and they want to pull up in your driveway. You certainly can do that for less than two, two weeks. Anything longer than that, you have to get a permit from the planning okay. or the building. Department. What if it's yourself living in it? I work at the hospital during the COVID thing. I was temporarily in my camper, so I was not trying to infect my family. I'm not there anymore, but for a month I was living in my camper, so I was not infected. I don't know that anybody would really have an issue with that, or if you're utilizing that, especially under the circumstances. That that's a seem would seem to me to be a very <laughs> reasonable argument for yeah. utilizing your trailer and you probably were I, I would imagine you're utilizing your house also as well you're just staying away as most of the best yeah. time luckily my laundry room is at the end of the house <laughs> right. the garage. so I do the laundry there but everything else I was using in the camper I mean either I but under normal I circumstances a system and I could dump it in my own subject and you know, if it weren't for COVID-19, you wouldn't have been traveling. No, not at all, because so, my kids are little. Under the circumstances of the emergency orders that are in place and so forth, that I don't know if anyone would have an issue with that. And you are still utilizing your primary dwelling, so. Then there's, a, you know, and I'll be the first to admit it, our, our neighbors do the same thing. They don't have air conditioning. When it's 92 degrees outside for four days in a row, they're staying in their trailer because they can sleep there. You know, they utilize the house during the to sleep at night, they sleep in the trailer because it actually is So, that's the one thing we had to Anybody else? Oh, All right, well, seeing as no one else wishes, oh, wait. Um, so we're to Taylor Shore, I prescribe. I just, so are we here, um, like, are we voting, like, to show support of it, or? No, nope, that's the public hearing is to take input from the public. Okay. Any other questions? 
do you have input that you are in support of? Absolutely. Do you have some input? Or well, I have neighbors that have a motor home, and I just wanted to be here in support to make sure that they're not in violation at any point in time. It's a recreational vehicle, and I just want to support them. So, so uh, just out here, what happens from here? I mean, you, I mean, you, you got public input, I'm assuming board votes on it, and yes. it becomes a change. How do we get, I mean, do you post that somewhere? I just never having been to one, I'm curious as to how the process well, works. what happens after we close the public hearing? Um, that would be it for the public input. Then we have tonight. We have a regularly scheduled board meeting anyway. We'll put this law on the agenda. And we'll take a vote. And at that point, as far as the town of Hamlin is concerned, that it will become a local law. It doesn't need to be filed with the Secretary of State. It doesn't technically become official until we receive notification that it has been ratified with the state. But as far as pretty much as far as we're concerned. They've never, I've been doing this for six and a half years. We've got several public, but they've not come back yet for whatever reason. So it's generally just a matter of how fast they turn around. And right now, I honestly have no idea how quickly they're going to work on that. But um, as far as we're concerned, it'll be, you know, the, the public law at that point. Um, it will be codified into our code book, per se, next year sometime. But it will be a Oh, prior to that, just won't be published in our book because we do that once a year. Anybody else? All right, well, thank you. Seeing no one else wishes to address the board, I would take a motion to close public hearing. Okay. Please call the roll. Back, sir. Yes. Paul Cole. Yes. Yeah, yes. Peters. Yes. Thank you, everyone, for coming. We really do appreciate it. Thank you to do that next time.